and welcome back to our pretty sweaty Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now this week you find me way, way down south. After being up in Scotland for such a long time, I'm now down the south of England, about 11 hours drive from where I was last week, which is crazy. Now, I'm already in a weird position because I'm in a kitchen. There's a couple of things to be fair. First of all, I've just gone to get the torch out and it's on 2% battery life, which is not a good start. I'm using Bear's torch at the moment and they don't last very long. I've got another one of those and then my phone torch. So I'm praying it's gonna last long enough. So I'm gonna have to quickly get out and look around, but this place is jam packed with stuff, which it would be. The time I don't want it to have much stuff in it. It's got absolutely loads, but I am sweating. It's like 25 degrees at like midnight. So anyway, there's a weird noise. See if you can hear it. Keep listening. Can you hear that? Hear it again then. What is that? Oh God, just fell off that step. Is it in there? You know what I think it sounds like? A baby owl. Not gonna lie, that's what it makes me think of. Anyway, let's get looking round. Now we're in the kitchen, but like I said, there is so much stuff in this place. I don't really know where to start. So what I'm gonna try and do is dodge all the stuff that I don't think is great and just try and get all the good stuff for you. Because sometimes, oh, does this torch work? Yeah, not pretty good there. I thought I might have got an extra light source then. Well, better not leave it on just in case. Might need that to get out. But yeah, let's have a look through. Now there's loads of kitchen stuff, which you would expect because we're in the kitchen. But we've got a little Raven or Arger or whatever you want to call it. A bit of a self-made kitchen work surface by the looks of things. But once I get past this washing machine, there's some good stuff over here. Like look at, look at all the stuff in that cabinet for a start. Look at all the pottery in there. And you know what? Some of that is really good pottery. I wish I'd got that brighter torch for you. Then that oil lamp, and that's a really good oil lamp as well. Really, really like that. Now, I don't want to rush things, but I, I want to make sure we at least see something. That I know what that is straight away. That's Hornsey pottery. I used to collect Hornsey pottery. I've told you a million times before, but I recognise that a mile off. Um, <laughs> little tiny... Um, slide foam from 1926 and a nice oil lamp again there oh this is good with the carving around the outside I wonder what that says uh, pain in that bread is, is it like a bread plate <laughs> I'm, I'm totally making this up well that's quite nice as well only 4 99 but yeah there is a lot of it though, I can't actually get to it. Like, there's this really nice inlaid box there. And the stuff on, it, on top of it, I don't think there's anything in it anyway. So it feels really light, but it's good. And like all the stuff that's behind there. Really want to look at that stuff in that cupboard. But there's no way I'm shifting this. All the stuff that's around the side. There's no way to get into it. I'll have a try and sort of lean over and see if we can see anything. That's about the best I can do. But there is some really good stuff I've noticed as I walk through the other room. So we'll go and look at that if not. Oh look, they're quite nice. Some of the things in here, like I don't know what that man is up at the back there, but he's pretty good. And some of the stuff off over at that side as well. I just can't reach it. And I don't I'm not standing on here because I don't I don't trust it. I don't trust breaking it and I don't want to break anything. So on we go. So yeah, like I said, I don't think there's a massive amount 
in the kitchen. What's that? Marmite. Marmite is just dirt. I love Bovril, but Marmite is just like absolute dirt. Just like Vegemite's like dirt. I've literally offended a whole nation now. Every Australian out there is like wanting to kill me now because I've said something bad about Vegemite. But it's it's like bum hole. It's awful. Bovril, beautiful. Vegemite and Marmite, awful. Still making me wonder what that noise is. I think it's a, a baby owl. But there's stair. There is stairs up there. But someone's put a ladder there because I'm guessing you can't actually get up the stairs at the bottom. It looks all broken. So I will try and move some stuff and have a look up there in a bit. But we'll move on into here first. Look at it. I don't know how old this place is, but it's pretty impressive. Look at the beams. This place is, I think this place is like 1700s or something, maybe, maybe earlier. Bear's upstairs. Can hear him moving about upstairs. But if it is an owl chick, I think you have to go up that way to get to it and I'll not take him with me because I think there's stairs for both sides of the house. But look at this. Look at this fireplace. How amazing is that? It's that's wood. There. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bomb upstairs. We'll come and look at this stuff downstairs in a minute. I just don't want Bear to be doing anything he's not supposed to be. If there is like owls and stuff up there. Where are the stones? Oh, they're there. Literally just walk straight past them. Yeah, I don't want him doing something he's not supposed to be. So we'll go upstairs first. Hey up. Is that not Andy's long lost brother? Definitely got a look of him. I don't want to know. I want to know what he's doing. Bear, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just want to check what's up here. Now, I've left the other door just downstairs. Oh, yeah. Can't hear that noise. I've left the other torches downstairs. So if this torch goes, I'm in trouble. Oh, this floor's a bit dodgy. Oh, there's some right good stuff in here. Look at that Teddy, how cute is he? He is lovely. Oh, I'm a proper girl when it comes to things like that. Look at him with his no eyes. I feel sorry for him. And a uh, little puppet man, a little freaky face. What is, that's like a some sort of weird blowjob face. That's bizarre. Oh, there's so many good things up here. Do you remember having things like that? Little like pig doll women. I didn't personally, but I think my sister did. And then we've got some old ship apneys in there as well. Oh, I do love it in this house already. This floor is leaning away quite a lot though. You can't really see it on here, but it is. I'm a bit worried about that because I don't want it all collapsing. The Followers by Dylan Thomas. Oh, I like it in here. I feel like I'm rushing. I really, really, I don't mean I'm rushing, but I feel like I'm rushing a bit and I don't want to. But I'm a bit scared of not being able to see it at all because we can only use phone lights. I'm stupid for not charging it up. I, can't, I actually thought I'd forgotten it altogether. Luckily, I found it under a load of stuff. But that's because... What it is, I was gonna, it's Friday, I think. I came back from Scotland on Sunday or Monday or something like that. Thought, right, I'm gonna have a week off, no exploring, nothing. And then I just woke up on Friday and went, right, I'm gonna Lancaster. So I got myself ready to go to Lancaster. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna Devon. <laughs> so I'm in Devon at the moment. However, I... How? How I've just forgot to pick up a whole bag, put the things on charge and everything, I don't know. I've forgot a whole bag with a load of stuff in it, like snacks and food and drinks and things like that. Nothing for exploring. But, and I think I lost one of the torches last week as well in Scotland. I really, really need to get another torch because I don't want to be in this position ever again. That looks like a Moomin. I don't know if you used to watch the Moomins. That's like a freaky version of a Moomin. I do like that though. 
I cut schnoz on her. Got a right nose. What are they for? Are they for like pie crusts? Oh, I don't know what they would be used for those. Let me know what, what you think. The thing I thought was like to put little holes when you're making your pies, but I don't, I don't know if it is that. There's something in this bag. I'm trying to look. Oh, nothing exciting. But yeah, I like this as well, look. Is it a mirror? Oh no, it's just like a display piece of it's damaged. Oh, I think it's like a tray. Like to put stuff on top, like your, I don't know, maybe your jewellery or little pots and candles and things like that. I'm not sure. And then looking down here, there's all sorts of games and books and things, look. A bear called Paddington. Oh, just makes me... I'm going to get told off by a certain person now, but it makes me think of the Queen, Paddington Bear, because of the little thing that she did with Paddington and how much she loved Paddington Bear. Oh, but there's, yeah, there was one of our subscribers that's like, you always mention the Queen. And I'm mentioning her again, so unlucky. What else we got? Let's have a look at some of these books. Now, the other problem is as well, it's a lot harder to hold this torch than the other one. <laughs> So I'm struggling a little bit to do both. What we got? Baba! I don't know if people remember Baba. It's Baba, but we used to call him Baba. I never used to really like Baba, if I'm being honest. It wasn't my thing. Sparky. Another Sparky. 1968. I was just going to say I don't really remember Sparky. I'm guessing it's because it was before me. What else we got? Eloise in Moscow. That looks cool. I like that. I always like some of these books when I have a look. Oh, look, Blue Peter. God, that's got to be an old one. I don't know the names of the presenters, to be fair. I recognise that his face and her face. I don't really recognise him. But... That's got to be like 70s, maybe. Thunderbirds. Oh, look at this. Simon Small moves in. That's so good. I love looking at books. I'm going to put them back in a minute. But what else have we got? Is there anything else up here? I want to look in the wardrobe, to be fair. I've just seen through the mirror. Oh, God. I don't know whether I should. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's nothing in it anyway. Um, I just noticed this through through the mirror of there. I noticed these like, couple of eyes looking at me. Look at her. I don't know if it's very old, that, but it's good. Well, sort of. She's got quite a bulging head. That might just be the angle I'm holding it at there. Anything else? Probably another... Picture. I think that might be someone that's done it here, painted it here. I'm not sure. But, right. Let's have a look under here as well. I always think there could be like really good bits of furniture hiding away. That looks relatively old. If you look at the insides of it, that looks like quite an old piece of furniture. I'm not sure what it what it would be though. Right, let's keep looking. I'm just gonna move the, put those books back. Now, just while I was putting those back, I noticed this. Now, I know it's like, it's be sewing, I think, and stuff like that, but it's just a good box. So what you do is you, you open it up, and I think you put, oh yeah, you put your needles in there, look. And then you can lift the whole thing out, look, like that. Now, obviously I hate it, because it's full of buttons. But I do like the actual thing. The box itself is really good. I need to have a look in the other side. I am sorry about the glare from the torch. It's, ugh, these are the worst sorts of buttons. They're awful. However, oh God, I don't know if I want to put my hand in here. Wait a minute, can I rest that there? Those scissors are brilliant. Look at them. They look like they'd take your balls off those things. Oh, 
no, 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 no. You can get shot again. But that is really cool. That's really, really good. Look. Oh. It shows how good the torch we normally use is though, because that wouldn't normally be a problem. I could light everything up just by putting it down. But with this little thing, it's not quite as good. I definitely need to get another one. So, anyway, let's move on to the next room. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of now, don't you? You know what, I'm gonna keep this on just out of respect for Andy for the rest of, oh, you know what? No, I'm not, there's another one. <laughs> I was gonna keep this one on, but my head's just far too big. Look out, look at that. Just look at that. How big my bonds is. I look like a right scoundrel, right scallywag. Look at the state of that. I think the other one's going to have to go back on. <laughs> right, so for the rest of the explore, this is what I'm going to be wearing. Not that you'll want to see me half the time anyway, but it's got to be done just for you, Andy. Just for you. Now, a couple more things. I was going to look in. I thought this was a proper cupboard, but it's just a boiler cupboard. A couple more things in this room I've missed. First of all, there's a door behind this wardrobe, which probably goes to the other side of the building, up those other stairs, but they've blocked it off. And then the little nutcracker thing, that's really good, the little dingly dangly thing that you'd have maybe above a cot. Same with the butterflies at that side. But then look at the wallpaper. I've not even noticed this wallpaper. It's sort of cute, but a bit freaky at the same time. Look at the size of their bleeding eyes. And that donkey's got my hat on. In fact, it's just basically me, innit? <laughs> but how good is that wallpaper? What's up with that person's hand? Why have they got a big baggy sleeve like that? Anyway, that's pretty cool. I like that. Right, on up these next couple of steps. And into another... What are you doing? What's up with you? I haven't got, once again... As you know, I've not got his torch on. What can he smell? Bear. Don't do this. I hate it when you do this. What can he smell, Bear? Oh, Bear, don't do this. He did this to me the other week and then went mad barking at someone. Don't like that. Bear, come on up. Come up. Bear. Bear. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's got no camera. <gasps> You're an idiot, dog. Proper scaring me to death. Yeah, he's got no camera on because it's just really hard to deal with everything at the moment. Um, to do his channel as well as other videos as well. So I'm just bringing him out for the explore for now. And then we'll catch up with some videos later on. Let's have a look. Oh, little otter. Oh, makes me think of someone that. Oh, Toulouse Lautrec. I recognise that a mile off. Now, I bet you don't know that my favourite film is Moulin Rouge. Now, that is one of the most girly films ever. But <laughs> on the way down here, down, down to Devon, I was listening to Backstreet Boys. Spice Girls, my favourite <laughs> favourite film is Moulin Rouge. And um, what else was there? Oh, I was having, uh, we were talking about spice pumpkin lattes as well. I'm such a girl. I, 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 tell you, I say Andy's a girl all the time. I am a proper girl. Proper girl. Anyway, let's have a look at this picture. Oh, it does actually say, oh, it says Mrs. Toulouse Lautrec. Cleans the toilet. So it's in the style of Toulouse Lautrec. That's why I recognise it. But it's sort of a bit of a piss tech, isn't it? Sally Ewan? 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 That's really good. But yeah, he was famous for doing the the Can Can Girls at the Moulin Rouge. But obviously, <laughs> she's cleaning bog with her toes, which is a bit weird. <laughs> Anyway, let's have a look in here. Oh, this room's weird. It's quite long and thin. 
I didn't expect it to be like that. Oh, I like that though. 1862. Surely that's not original. That's just like a print or something. Yeah, it looks like a print to me. But it's really nice that. I like that. And then, oh, I don't know if you remember pictures like this in the 80s. They were like people, kids with bubbles and stuff like that. And we, I used to have, one, have them in my bedroom on wall when I was about six. It reminds me of them, that. What else we got in here? Oh, come all this way from Sheffield. And look. <laughs> Celebrate J&H Wilson Limited, Westbrook Mill, Sheffield. Celebrated for delicacy of flavour and pungency. I wonder what it is. If I can get in it. It's got to be quiet, is not it? Oh, it's an aeroplane. I thought there were a car outside then. Oh, it's not got sweets in it. It's got like little fake gems in it, look. That scared me that then. I thought there were a car outside, but it's not. It's just an aeroplane passing by. What else we got on here? All sorts underneath here by the looks of things. Oh, look at these cards. May God bless your baby boy. I wonder when that's from. Um, to Clever, Marie and Terry. What, for having a shag? They're clever for having a baby. A boy, ship ahoy. Oh, I don't know when I think these are from. Maybe 60s? I'm not 100% sure. I can't open them either though. Yeah. I reckon maybe 60s these look. I don't know. Oh, are these fur? It's a, it's a fur look. I've got to be careful with this round bear. Because if he gets a whiff of it, he'll want to eat it. Yeah, look. I think it's proper fur as well. I don't think it's fake fur. It's just bits. It's like ends and cut-offs. From like a, a fur coat or something. That away. Just move that out of the way altogether so Bear can't get it. A little, little dog. Oh, I like this. I like this, look. I actually don't know what it's... Is it? What is it? Oh, it's a bird. That took me a while to work out what that was. Right, look. I can see it better now. That little bird holding some corn or something like that in its mouth. It took me ages to work out what that was. I turned it upside down, back to front. And then a little pin tray and some glass animals. Everybody used to have glass animals back in the day. What else we got in here? It's weird. It's like there's people's belongings that lived here. And then there's just stuff that's been shoved in here that doesn't really fit. Like, I know vacuum cleaners generally go in these places, but they're just in an odd spot. They're like, it's been shoved to one side. What else we got up here? All the books and stuff and more ornaments up there. What is this? What is, is it for a cigar? I feel like that's a cigar holder, but what's the thing inside? Yeah, is that's a, for a cigar, isn't it? The glass case. And then, but what are those things in there? They look like cyanide tablets. I have no idea what they are. I've got no clue at all. What have we got on here? Old tempies. Big, big fat old tempies. Massive. Bear's having a good look in that corner. What else we got? Now, oh my God, the floor then. It weird, it sort of moved, but not like it were going to fall through. Right, I'm just going to have a bit of a look through some stuff, see what I can find. And then I'll come back to you because everything's laid on top of everything else. Right, I thought I'd start in this cupboard first, where Bear's been having a look. I think he was trying to tell me to look in here because it looks amazing. For a start, look at this umbrella. Now it's just an umbrella, but that is an old umbrella. It's either bone or ivory handle on it and then like a cane 
It's really, really good. It's really old. Now, look at that chest. Oh, I just know there's going to be some good stuff in here. Look at the clock. That clock's wonderful. Shame it's broken. But that is so good. Oh, the stuff underneath here. There, you're onto a winner, this one. You're a good boy. What a good boy you are. <laughs> what a good lad. Right, I'm just going to move this clock and I want to do it nice and gently. So just give me a sec. Right, I'll show you what I saw underneath. Not the painting, although the painting is beautiful, to be fair. But look at this. That, oh God, I can't get the shine off it. There we go, look. That is so good. There, what have you found down there that you want so badly? Just leave it alone. And then there's more, there's more, there's more. But yeah, he's really good. It's hard to, like, how old is that boy? I think it's really hard to work out how old they were back then because of the clothes they wore. I think it's really, really hard. All right, let's have a look. Look. Now, do we reckon that he could be him? The cigarette on a little... Oh, he's so good. Bear, get out of it. Leave it alone, whatever it is. He's so good, though. Look at him. Can't get it focused. The little cigarette. His pocket watch in there as well. His creased trout, not creased. What's it called now when you've got the lines down the front? But yeah, you know what I mean. Trousers. Oh, look as well. Mary Ann. Look at little Mary Ann. That's so good. I wonder if any of these have got dates on the back. No. Right. I think there's going to be more under here. Although these may be postcards, look. Oh no, because they usually... Oh no, these are postcards. Oh, look. That's like a World War One Postcard there, look. That is so good. Oh, that is as well. Some of these are worth a fortune. The old World War One postcards. Got here. Oh, look. Another little fella. These need saving. Look at these. That's like the trenches. These are so good. This will be from France as well. Look, Calais. These are a bit of history. That's what I ran about a minute ago with the boy with the bubbles. That's the picture I had in my bedroom. That's so strange. I thought that was the address then, but it's not. So we're okay. Oh, look at, look at the writing on that from 1919, look. Ah, from Calais. Oh, if somebody could tell me what that... Oh, it's about the Somme. Is it in French? It's in French. About the Battle of the Somme. Oh, is it, is it written in French at the top and then English at the bottom? Oh, that is so good. What a piece of history. Just going to waste in this place. Oh, there. Oh, look at him. He's a very proud soldier man, isn't he? She doesn't look all special, though. She doesn't look... What's up with his hair? No, but his daughters look really proud. That one looks a bit like his mother there. Looking through photos, I'm in the most uncomfortable position there. What's happening here? Are they in bed outside? Oh, September 1929. This is a bit further on. I wonder if that's what, that guy that was at war. Oh no, he looks a bit too old. Don't know. Right, I'm just going to get these and move them somewhere else because I'm so uncomfortable. Right, so all of these ones, and I can't spend good time going through all of them. Look at that. That's from 1914-15. Damage that's gone off. Uh, where is that? Eeps. I think that's where the Red Baron uh, flew over in his plane. Eeps. Or Eepers or whatever. I'm sure that one of my family 
like my granddad's dad or something fought there in the First World War. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, and then you've got loads and loads of postcards and they all look like they're from World War I or maybe just after or just before. They're all really good. I'm telling you now, some of these will be worth a fortune because people collect stuff like this. And there's a little card, a New Year's card. Neil. Oh, that's a photo. I'd not noticed that's a photo. I don't know what this one is. Uh, photographic works. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, look in here. Look at him. That's that same guy again we were looking at a minute ago. Oh, remembrance card. If it says who it was. Is it open? I feel like it should open, but I can't get it open. Oh, it does. What year it's from? 1950. Julia Emma Birkins. If anyone wants to look that up, 22nd of December 1950. Uh, interred at Brompton Cemetery. I know people like doing the research on these people, and I, I do as well. I just don't have time to do it. everybody. I sometimes pick out one or two to have a look at. That one is 1937, age 83, Joseph Henry Birkins. Oh, I'm not going to go through all of them. And then, oh, look at her. Little chunk. Proper little chunk. Oh, he's good, though. Is that that same guy that were in that first photo? Look at his collar. Look at his collar and his little necktie thing. That's so good. Proper, proper gent, that one, isn't it? Oh, we'll put all these back in here. Just shows you, though, like, how many people would just not even look down there at all? Not look through this stuff. What a shame. Yeah, it is that same guy, look. Same little necktie. That's so good. Like I said, all the other things on there are um, postcards. But then these ones up here put to one side you've got some people in a boat no date on that that's definitely somebody from world war one i can't quite get it without it shining look at him i don't know if that's i don't know what if he's a sergeant a private or what he is um then proper victorian or just after victorian portrait that looks like it's in France as well. I wonder if that name, that Burko or whatever it was, is a French name. I wonder if they've come over from France to escape the war, maybe. Oh, 1911. Oh, yeah, because everything's in French, look, still. Simi, me, Avril, something, 1911. Yeah. So I wonder if they're French and they've moved over here or it's, oh, look. I'll make sure that's not here. No, that's an address in Calais. La Maman de Simone avec something de Saint-Ville. The, the mother and Simone, I'm guessing. Not 100% sure. And then, I don't know if that's her in later life. Then back down to those again. I don't know if there's any more. They're the ones we've just looked at. I don't know if there's any more underneath, so I'm just going to have another quick look. Now, you won't believe the amount of stuff I've just found. All sorts. I don't know what's in that. I'll have a look in that in a minute. Oh, look. Mrs. Birkins. Lived in Ride. I don't know where that is. It's not here. Compensation is given for loss or damage in respect to inland registered letters. I'll have a look at that in a minute. But look at this, there's loads of pictures on here. Look at that guy. He's so cool. He looks a bit like Andy as well. Same shape, Ted. He looks like that world's tallest man. It's not him. She looks like Moana. There's, everybody's a look-alike. Oh, look at them. The glasses on. <laughs> that little dodgy moustache. Oh, there's some really good stuff. Some really, really good stuff. 1947. 
is it Puckpool Park or Pockpool Park? Um, an old girl, 1944, Diana, 15 months old. She could quite well still be alive. What would she be? 44. So I'll call it, say if it's 24 now, no it's not. So she'd be 80. She'd be 80 years old or 79. 79 years old. He's quite dapper, isn't he? No date on that one. Oh, it's him again. But there's, there's loads. There's absolutely loads. I'm struggling. I'm proper struggling to show you here. Is there a way I can get that to... That might... Uh, the only problem is it then I start having a shine on things. Now, people keep telling me to get a head torch, but that would make it even worse. Trust me, that would be the worst thing I could possibly do, have a head torch. Because I wouldn't be able to control where the light was going. Look at them. They look like they're on a boat or something. Look at the windows in the background. They're like on a on a liner. God, imagine if it were um, Titanic. Imagine that. That would be crazy if it was. You just don't know, though, do you? Who's this? Kate Day of Remembrance. The king places a wreath on the coffin. The Unknown Warrior. Oh, I've seen the grave for the Unknown Warrior. In London, I think it is. Um, what else we got? Oh, that's that lady again. What's that? Carriage fit to proceed direct into the field. AOD Base Inspection Branch, Calais. Nature of carriage. I don't understand what that is. Is it to go on your bag when you're travelling abroad? But why would it be into the field? It must be something to do with the war, that. Surely. Jesus looking after a soldier. I didn't know he came and worked directly for the uh, war office. What a lad. What else we got up here? Oh, that's that girl again that we saw a minute ago that is now 80. I wonder if she's still alive. Just makes you wonder, doesn't it? That's Moana again. Oh, got a load of writing on the back of Moana. Dear Auntie Emmy, I hope you are both well. Oh, she's Ina. That's Ina. That's... Oh, look at them. Look at the clothes. One at the top. Look at the clothes they're wearing. It's very faded, that one. Right, I think we're just about... Oh, wait up. P&O Ferries. Egypt. I wonder if that's the... Mrs Birkin, I wonder if that's the boat they were on. I wonder if it is. It's not this address before you start trying to work out where I am. So, <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if that's the boat they were on. Guessing the boat is, oh yeah, SS Egypt. I wonder if it is. That'd be good if we could match it up. Oh, that's the same as before. Oh, look at his tash. Look at that. That is a cracker of a tash, that one. Oh, that's so good. Oh, and that's them again. He was the soldier guy and the lady with the face. The face. But, right, I'm just going to stop filming a minute just while I have a look inside this. Right, it's got two little old photos in it, but they're so old. So, so old. It's proper good as well. I need to show you. I swear one of them is like a, a merchant sailor or something, merchant navy or something like that. It's really good. Look at these. Right, look at a proper old Victorian black wearing woman, John Thompson. Ven Ventnor, and then look at him. How cool is he with that beard and that hat? And that is Ride, Isle of Wight. Oh, that's where Ride is, is it? Isle of Wight, I didn't know that. Yeah, look at him. What a guy. What a guy he is. You wanna meet him on a dark night, would you, with that beard? Now there is a few more down there, look. Not many, but I don't want to make a proper mess. I'm going to try and put them back in the tin, I think. 
what I've done. They didn't come out of that tin. They've come out of like a, a paper envelope down here. But, hey, what is that? Oh, no, I thought, it said, I thought it said New York, but it says Happy New Year on that one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 1915 postcard, hand sewed. That is unbelievable. That is so good with the, I'm guessing, Belgian flag, French flag. <sighs> Pass. Not sure, but that is so, so good. So good. What's it say on here? To my dear mother, um, wishing you a happy and prosperous new year. How sad is that? That's so sad. Obviously sent it over from the war. That is beautiful. What a shame. And I know you're all going to say, you need to take them and save them. I can't. I wish I could. But I just can't. Anyway, let's keep looking around this place. I told you it were good, didn't I? Right, so, right, I'm taking this hat off. I don't care. The hat's got, what is wrong with the hair? The hat's gone. But I thought, right, I've had a look down here and I've obviously missed that one. Have I missed anything else? I've looked again and I'm so glad I did. Look at this. So I missed one of them. I missed another one. Look as well, 1914-15. Nothing written on that one. Look at this. How good is that? Wait a minute, is there more than one there? Oh, look, dear father and mother. Oh, Eugene. Your loving son, that is so sad. Oh, my address is 95489 Gunner Birkins RFA M Troop, number 11 Camp, Base La Havre. Oh, write soon and send ear defenders. Wow. Oh, you just can't imagine these people were in the First World War. I hope he survived it. To my dear mother from your loving son. I wonder if he's done these. Surely not. He must have bought them. Oh, look. He's lived in London. Glasshouse Street, Regents Street, London. That's so sad. Souvenir of the Great War. As long as you're not getting a souvenir of a gun... Uh, bullet in your head we're all good from your sincerely harry these are so good 1914 1915 look another one they're amazing they're one of the nicest things i've ever ever found in anywhere i've ever been they're beautiful i want to have one more check down here because there is a wedding photo there but it's quite recent but other than that i think we've seen everything right i've Put them all back under there and covered them up with this. The 100 best pictures, one shilling. There's nothing in it, which is a shame. They've all been taken out. And then when I moved it, because it was up here, look, perfume brick. What is a perfume brick? I can't smell anything of it on it. That's a bit weird, isn't it? And then I'm going to put these as well. I'm going to hide those somewhere else because... I don't want someone coming in specifically trying to find them. Uh, yeah, look. E. Birkins Esquire, 278 Fulham Road, Kensington. I reckon they got a bit of money because Kensington's, in that, in that like a good place in London to live or it was back in the day? I don't know. I'm not sure what any of these things are on here. I don't think. Oh, these are those pictures, I think. The hundred best pictures, maybe. I'm not sure. Don't want to damage anything, that's the problem. I think that's about it anyway. I'm leaving that hat there. I'm not wearing that anymore. Right, put this back and the perfume brick. And then uh, I'll go and put those somewhere out of the way. Right, so I've had a look in there and in the chest and there's nothing exciting. Oh, look, another little like parasol, lace parasol as well. Another one at the back there. 
They're good. I bet they're like 1910s, 1920s, something like that. And a little hat box, which I don't know. I don't think he's got anything in, but I will have a look once I've got back out of it. What is he doing? Bear? 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 You scared me then, Bear. I thought you were dead. You just weren't moving at all. What are you doing? What's under there? Oh, God, Bear. Give me a proper heart attack. I was like, how am I going to explain a dead bear? What am I going to do? He was so still. There's definitely something down there that he's trying to get. That's why he's just laying there looking. I was going, Bear, Bear, Bear. And he just wasn't moving at all, not even wagging his tail like he's doing now. So I just turned the camera off as quick as I could and shifted. <sighs> you scared me, dog. Proper scared me. Anyway, let's have a look in that hat box. Right, so I've just had a look. Someone's ripped that open. It's just full of knickers and bras. Andy would love that. Right, what else is there down here? What, is, what have you found? What is it you're looking at? I am sweating, dog. I am so warm. Oh, God. Right. Let me have a bit of a look down here. See if I can find anything. If not, we'll move on. Now, these over here are pretty much all like Christmas decorations from the 70s. But I don't know what that is. What is that thing? It's almost like a knight's helmet. That's a really weird looking object, though. Don't know what you'd use it for. If you put a candle in it or if it's just a doorstop. I have no idea. Got no clue at all. What a weird looking thing. Right, there's all these little wallet things down here as well. I'll have a look through them next. Now, most of the things in there were, were just like bits of paper and nothing exciting. Are you all right, dog? Are you having a good time? Are you dead? Have you died? Don't start dying on me again, because you worried me then. You proper worried me. But look, these were in there as well, little driving licences. I haven't had a look inside, so I don't know if it's got this address on it. It has. It has, it has. But let me just see what it says, see if I can read it out to you. 1963 to 1967, Terence Patrick Bowers. But I can't show you because it is this. Definitely this address. Um, and so is that one as well. Both the same person. So they're good from the 60s. I'm put those back in there. Right, there's this here as well. Ooh. It's got a little pair of binoculars in here. I don't know when that stamp's from. It's quite an old stamp. Uh, oh! Ugh, that's like my worst nightmare. Get them away, you disgusting tramp. Whoever put them in there. Get this in here. Uh, just looks like bits of material again. I feel like they repaired stuff because it's not the only these here these boxes here they've got buttons in it as well so i don't know whether it was somebody like a seamstress or something that lived here or something else i'm not sure i'm gonna check that one underneath i'll have to move it and i'll have a look look in here services guide to cairo popular mechanic magazine um ministry of civil aviation notice to airmen so i wonder if you're a pilot then there's maps and all sorts in here as well. I can't, can't, I don't want to move that off top. Yeah, look, it's all maps underneath there. So I wonder if this guy was, was in the RAF. Uh, what's that? Menu. Oh, WO and Sergeant's Club, Venice. Menu. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a look at this properly. Right, so this is what you got. I wonder if it's Venice as in, like, Venice Beach. Or if it's Venice as in Venice. It's in English. Lunch. Oh, no. No. 40 lira. Lira. Yeah. Um, roast potatoes, carrots, pineapple and fritters. Roll and tea. So it was obviously for, like, the British officers, and that's why it was in English. It doesn't actually say 1945, but I'm guessing... It was 1945, 6th of the 10th, 1945. Beer, 
10 lira per bottle, dry gin 25 lira per glass. Brandy, that's so good. So that's from the Second World War. Oh look, and it was that supper was between six and eight. Afternoon tea from 2.15 to 5.45. You could get a cheese roll, a salmon roll, or a tong roll. <laughs> a tong roll. Oh, dear. Steak and kidney pudding. Oh, you've got to love a steak and kidney pudding. Don't know if it's just a northern thing, but wow, beautiful. Right. Just going to have a look, see what else there is in here. Now, most of the stuff underneath is this popular mechanic magazine. I'm sure it says mechanic. I can't think what other word it could be, but I can't see the end of each of them. But it's just weird that it's got, like, somebody running on that one and somebody in a plane on that one. But, yeah, there's nothing really else in here that's worth looking at. But it is really good. Really, really good. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, Popular Mechanics magazine. 1948. So just after the war. Oh, Gillette advert as well there. And these are all the old maps. Uh, Gulf of Piambino. Don't know where that is. Not sure. Right, let's keep looking because otherwise this battery is going to be dead. Like I always say though, it just takes two minutes of looking and you'll find some amazing stuff. It would have been so easy to look in there and go, oh look, there's an umbrella and walk back out again. Or look in this room and go, oh, there's not very much in here. Just takes a couple of eyes and a couple of minutes to have a look and you'll find some amazing stuff, I'm telling you now. Anyway, let's keep looking. Right, so the only other room on this side of the house upstairs is the bathroom. Oh, look, I guess I reckon he was a pilot, me. And if he's got stuff from Eeps, there was a lot of air battles above Eeps, or Eeps, or however you say it. Oh, look. We're just looking about razors and that's all boxed up as well. That's really good. Um, nothing else on there apart from a dog. That's good though. Is that in... Oh no. I thought that were in French but it's not. That's quite unusual. Look at that cat's face. Ugly get. And that guy as well. Look at the tiles around the bath, you know. That's... They're... They're a bit special, aren't they? Look at them. They're mad. Almost looks like a squashed frog. But, right. Oh, look at the big thing there as well. I'll look at that, but I reckon that's got towels and stuff in it, but I'll look in it before I go. Right, I'll look in there and then we'll keep going. Now, things I didn't notice at the top of the stairs as I came up. First is that. A sword and a skull, which is a bit bizarre. All the, oh, Cardinal Wolsey book. Loads of books on there as well. Chess pieces and what looks like fake fur. Maybe that's, maybe there's bits of fur knocking about. That's what's starting him off. I don't know, but I feel like something's been taken off here, look. Something important. There's all finger marks on there as well. It's weird. But look at, right, just look at this wood. I know a lot of you won't appreciate this, but with the woodworm in it and the age to that, that is definitely at least 1700s. I reckon maybe earlier, maybe a lot earlier, 15, 1600s. But that is an old piece of wood, a really old piece of wood. Anyway, let's look at down here. We ran off from down here earlier, didn't we? Now, like I said earlier, this fireplace, it's massive. I'll try and walk round to the front of it. Look, it's got a little bit of the side. This building's really old. I'm sorry, but it's really, really old. Like, ridiculously old. I, don't, I can't put a date on it, but I know it is. I just know it. Then you've got all little bits of ornaments up there, look. Oh, they were very collectible. These ones at the back. I think they're quite old, you know. Not, not this thing. These, I think they're quite old, maybe 1800s. Then you've got some old kids' toys. And some more old photos in there. There's a lot of addresses. 
that are just need to make sure that's no that's not here yeah look eh bucknall esquire westbourne terrace budley salterton devon i thought because it was devon it was here but it's not and then wimborne gardens east ealing There's loads of letters to and from london hackney scout songbook there's just so much stuff. Now, a lot of the stuff down here, actually, is quite modern. Not all of it, but a lot of it is quite quite new, like the kids' toys and stuff. So we don't need to really spend much time looking at them. Just a minute. Can you hear that? The fridge is on. Now, earlier when we were stood here listening to that noise that's now stopped, I didn't hear the fridge. That's weird. It's really weird. Now, don't get me wrong, these things look like they've been in here a while. But still, that means the electric's on in this building. Which is really odd. Right, going back up the way I was going. I can hear Bear rattling about behind there somewhere. Not quite sure what he's doing. Look at these weird owls. How freaky are they? Let's get past this, whatever it is, trampoline or whatever. Oh, oh my lord, look at that. That is a freaky doll. That's like original Victorian doll, that one. Look at the clock as well, that's lovely. It's a really nice clock. But the owls, the owls are just a bit weird. You all right, mate? What have you been doing? You found anything? No. Uh, and then, is this, are they mermaids? Is that a mermaid? And a merman feeding each other out of a shell? Some really good stuff. Look at that. Little, like, bathtubby thing with the feet on it. That's really good as well. I feel like I said really good far too many times. But there is some cracking stuff in here. Wait a minute. Is that a speaker set into the wall? It's got a wire going down it. I think it is, isn't it? That's a speaker. That's really strange. Hey, what's this up here? I just noticed. Oh, not the clock. I've not seen the clock. Tottenham Court Road, WC. Has that been nicked from Tottenham Court Road tube station? Toilet. That was, look, that's another speaker in the wall. How weird. This wall, obviously, has been added afterwards, this interior wall. It would have been one big room. Yeah, and Bear was looking up here. Oh, there's a big piano there, look. I've not even noticed that. Massive piano. I can't see what... Oh, Hicks. Hicks, but I can't see... Hicks of where? Hicks of London, maybe? I don't know. I can't get in properly. Little tiny sink. Some pictures that are more recent. It looks like all this bit's been converted for like an elderly person to live downstairs, have a shower in the toilet down here. So I'm guessing that's what happened and then they got really old and passed away or whatever. Look at this fact, oh God, just stuff falling off left, right and centre. Look at this fireplace. That's a bit lovely. I kind of like that. That's really nice. Can't really see it properly from here, but I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know what that's made out of. But it's nice, I like it. Same with this. I don't really know. Is that off the piano? Is that what that bit's for? Yeah, it is, look, to put your sheet music on. So it will have been off. I don't think it's off this piano, though. It's come round here. It might, have been, it might have been off this one. What's it say? Yeah, Hicks of London. Uh, New Kent Road, London. Oh, that's good. 
Right, let's see if we can get upstairs or if I can get upstairs because he's not coming. Absolutely no way on earth if there is an owl chick up there, I am letting him go up. I don't think it is, I reckon, because I can't hear it anymore. So I don't think it is. It's more likely going to be a pigeon, which I still don't want him going up there because he'll try and eat it. But I'm going to have a go, see if I can get up there. I don't want to scare it if it is an owl though. I'll come straight back down if it is. Now glasses are something I wouldn't normally pick up or even look at at all. But I just noticed this. I'm just going to put the torch down. Listen. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. That's crystal. That's not just glass. That sound is definitely crystal. Beautiful pieces of crystal. I'm putting it back over there anyway. So it doesn't get damaged. But I just noticed the, the stems on them and I thought that, that's not just normal glass. It's too delicate. Beautiful. Right, let's keep going and try and get up those stairs. I'm sorry, Bear, you are going to have to stay down here, though. I'm sorry, mate. Look at the cobwebs on your face, tramp boy. Right, we've left Bear around that corner. He can get to me, to be fair, but he's not going to be able to climb this. You can see why they've put a ladder there now. Because that is dead. I'm still a bit scared walking on here, to be fair. It's a bit creepy, this bit. I am a bit scared of these stairs, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie at all, because that is creaking a lot. Oh, look at the windows. Oh, it's freaking it's scary, though. It? Yeah, honestly, when you're not sure what's going to happen with the floor, it is worrying. The floor up here just looks terrible anyway. I have to be really careful. Oh God, that is not good. At least he's not trying to follow me. Right, let's have a look in here. So this is that door that's behind the wardrobe, blocking it up. It's a lot more old feel to it in here. Look at the, look at the floorboards, the big, Quite thick floorboard. Ignore my little toe sticking out my shoes. Quite thick floorboards. Oh, this floor. Look at this picture. Look at that. Oh, it's got an hole in it and a bird poo. Yeah, look at that. I reckon that's probably worth a fortune. I would have been. It's a proper, proper painting that. I should be in a museum. Oh, it's got a proper old feel in here. Really, really old feel of everything. And everything's going to ruin as well. If my torch goes off up here, I'm in trouble. I'm in proper trouble. Look at those light switches. I, I don't hardly move, if I'm being honest. Like there's things on the floor I'd like to look at, but like, even that cupboard looks quite old, you know, those drawers. The inlaid, triangular things, look in there. Let's get off this floor as quick as we can. This is, this is not good. Everything is creaking and leaning towards. Oh, look at the little faces in the corner. I've not seen them. Can't even really show you properly. And she's got, oh, she's got hit by a, um, an arrow. I wonder if that's like quite a famous picture. I just don't know. It's massive though. It's a good five foot tall, that. Really good. Anyway. Oh, didn't notice there's a little window there. Right, let's head on. Oh God, this floor is scaring me. Some little old pictures there. I'm getting out of this room. Now, if there is an owl, it's gonna be in here because this is where the noise was coming from. Please don't be an owl. I sort of want to see one, but I don't want to disturb it either if it is in here. I can't see it, but look at here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that book. really 
careful with it. Definitely don't want to damage it. Look at this. Why can I never get the page I want to open? Oh, it's going to touch my foot then. Political works of William Cowper, Edinburgh. I'm sure somebody can look that up for me. That looks really old. Look at that. Oh, poems of Cowper. Loads of little, little books. Look at this. Sir, to Sir Thomas Lawrence, President of the Royal Academy, etc., etc., etc. Antidotes of fine arts. Wow, that's so good. So good. I've got to be careful because there is addresses in here. 1917 to Goethe. I think that's just a. A Bible. Alright, I'm just going to turn this over. But that, just a minute. It's from Downing College, Cambridge. So they'd obviously gone to Cam Cambridge. Oh, 1979. Yeah, Cambridge um, University. Oh, Robert Burns. Songs and Point. Oh, this is old as well, I think. Look. Wait a minute. Rabbi Burns himself, the man. But yeah, look at look at the edges of the paper. It's not like finished. And it's all off to one side. That's quite old, that you know. That is definitely quite an old old book. Oh, I'd, I'd love to have some of these things. Look at these lamps as well here. They're off like a like an old car or carriage or something like that. They'd be mounted, I think, on a carriage. Oh, it's so good. Look at all these things on here, though. That mirror is massive. That's surely not from this house. It's huge. What else we got? Little old telly. I am scared that the little owl's going to come jumping out in a minute. I'm going to disturb it. Yeah, little telly. Up there. I don't know what that is. I thought it were a hose pipe at first. An old hose pipe. I am genuinely scared. Oh, look at that. A little carving in there as well. So good. What have we got in here? There's all sorts of weird things in that bit. Like from the 80s. Same in there, or 70s, there's games in there. The cabinet it's in is quite good though, isn't it, look? That's very intricate. Oh, and it's an old savings box, look. A money savings box that you got from the bank. And then you pull this bit out. And underneath would be all your notes, which I'm guessing someone's had away. Yeah. Yeah, there's some there's some brilliant stuff. I'm so scared in this room. I honestly think there's going to be something hiding underneath here. But I don't want to go through it anymore. I think we're about done. I don't want to disturb anything if there is something in here. But what a place. Oh, is that a sight for a gun? It is, isn't it? What an amazing place. Oh, Just gotta be careful because they'll see the lights through the windows. But I think they've gone. I'm pretty sure there's a car outside. So I'm gonna sneak down here. Because Bear's gonna bark. So I need to get hold of him quickly. Right, I definitely heard a car going very slow and either turning round or parking right next to here but I can't see any lights outside or see any people I have 
just got a horrible feeling I want to get outside and there's going to be a policeman waiting for me. So I'm going to make a quick exit. Now there doesn't appear to be anybody out here. The bear's ready to go. But I have just noticed there's a red light flashing down there. Which is weird. Anyway, let's get out of here. I don't know if you can see. There's a car at the bottom of this street, the road that I've just come down. From the house I've just been in. That wasn't there before. So there's either somebody in there waiting for me, which I don't think there is. Or they've just probably turned the car around here and that's what I heard. But look at it. Look at that place. Anyway, I need to go and rescue Bear because he's got himself stuck. I don't know about Bear being needing help get out. I went to get him. He fell off a wall. So I'm currently in a load of brambles and nettles on my arse. <laughs> Filming on the wrong phone as well, so it's probably going to make an horrible noise. The sound on it's going to be terrible. But anyway, I'm going to try and get myself back out without ripping myself to shreds. And I've got this in my mouth as well. Ugh. I'm so clumsy. This is going to be awkward because it's all wrapped around my legs as well. Could just sleep here tonight. Bear, you're not going to save me, are you? You'll just leave me here. Bear. Bear. Devil dog. Bear, this is your fault. I'm ripped to shreds. It's all your fault. <laughs> you numpty. It's my fault because I left his lead on and told him to come and he's got wrapped up on the lead. So, God, this is awkward. I can't put my hands down on everything because it's so prickly. I have to put my bag down, put my hands on that. Right, let's keep trying. It was just a van from one of the local houses I heard. I had to come back up here, because when I fell, I must have dropped my other phone. I panicked, but I've just got it back. So I had to come back to try and find it. Legs are a bit of a state though. Don't get me wrong, it's nothing like it was last time, but still uh, a bit shredded, a bit cut up, but not too bad. Anyway, I put Bear back in the car, better go and get him. Right, I'm back in the car with Bear and we get out of here. It's not that late actually, it's half one in the morning, usually a lot later than this. I'm glad I've not got to drive all the way home though because I won't be home till 10 o'clock tomorrow morning or something stupid like that. But I'm gonna go and find somewhere to sleep for the night so I can get on with tomorrow's Explore, which will be next week's Explore for you guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I thought that place was amazing. One of the best I've done for a long time with some of the stuff in there. Those photos were just brilliant. So, so good. And the postcards and things like that, really good. Anyway, if you do enjoy what you see, make sure you subscribe, you like, and do all that those shenanigans become a patreon if you want to you get extra stuff from that as well so behind the scenes stuff so when i'm down here i'll do a couple of posts for the patreon members um and so yeah if you want to do that do that i'm going now because i'm sweaty and i need i need some sleep love you all once again, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to our Patreon users. If it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't have gone to Scotland. I couldn't have gone to Cornwall and Devon. And the upcoming trip that I've not told you where it is yet, I couldn't do that either. So I just want to say a massive thank you. I will give you updates. I will tell you extra stuff that other people don't get to see. And that's because you're amazing. Anyway, thank you everybody for the support. Thank you for watching the videos and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.